And so D-mannose uh, is a type of sugar that E. coli is actually is a big fan of. So you might think, well, why you f if you've got an infection or something, why would you feed the thing that it's a fan of? Well, it turns out that um, when you take it, a decent amount of D-mannose goes to the bladder, and then the E. coli kind of attaches to the D mannose. It kind of detaches from the bladder, attaches to the D mannose, and then it just gets flushed through because what the bladder does is flushing. So that's the theory, as I understand it, behind it. Um, and it is very effective if the issue is an effect infection. Um, I say it that way because a lot of people, you know, when they have cystitis and stuff like that, that's really more. Maybe they're having chronic infections, and it's more of an immune system issue. In that case, it's kind of only temporarily effective. But a lot of the time, as I said, I think that's more other stuff. I think that's more, sometimes it's uh, an allergy. Sometimes it's an issue of chronic tension of like the muscles around the bladder that's causing an issue. Um, so I'm not saying that d mannose always works if you have bladder pain. But if you know you actually have a bladder infection, you can test with the urine test strips, for instance. And, you know, if you have elevated leukocytes and stuff like that, it's a very cheap, simple at-home test. And if you go to a doctor or... Uh, even emergency room I discovered when I went with some of the ones who had the issue. Like, that's all they do. They just do the 10 cents urine test. Um, and so you can just do that at home as well, as long as you have the test that you trust and, you know, that's reliable. And if you have those signs of a bladder infection, um, yeah, you know, go to a doctor. But let's say you can't get a doctor appointment for two days and they don't treat it as if it's very serious, which they normally don't, to be honest, um, then reach for some D-manners. You may well find that it really helps a lot of people it works. But again, only works if it's an infection, which honestly often isn't.